Hey, what is up guys, it's me the Swiss and today we will be taking a look at the 10 best console games ported to iOS. As a quick disclaimer to the video, I would like to point out that a game's qualification for this list depends on if it is a full port, therefore games that are simplified versions of their console counterparts like Minecraft are not allowed on this list, and games that have been removed from the App Store obviously are not allowed either. Sorry Bioshock. Is a man not entitled to the sweat of his brow? No says the man in Washington, it belongs to the poor. No, says the man in the Vatican, it belongs to God. Number 10. Don't Starve, Pocket Edition. Hey look, a title that explains exactly how to play the game. <laughs> Don't Starve, an award-winning survival game often compared to Minecraft, in which you mine and craft things, features a hauntingly mesmerizing art style and minute level design that drives you straight into moments of terror as you stock up, build up your base, and prepare for the darkness. Hey, just remember, don't starve. Number 9. Oddworld. Stranger's Wrath. An action-adventure game originally published in 2005 on the Xbox, Oddworld follows a bounty hunter named Stranger. How convenient. And so, you must capture wanted outlaws, dead or alive, in order to raise money for a mysterious operation. No spoilers here, of course. Now that's how you get them. Number 8. Telltale's The Walking Dead. Before The Walking Dead was released, Telltale Games, a company specializing in point and click games, were relatively unknown. As soon as they released their treatment on the Robert Kirkman intellectual property, they shot straight to the industry A-list and created a masterpiece. As an episodic game, The Walking Dead takes the form of a series, developing the story through five episodes, as each episode was released in 2012, from April to its conclusion in December, Telltale was able to release them for console and iOS within days of each other. Playing as Lee Everett, a convicted murderer, he tries to seek redemption as he protects a girl named Clementine. Personally, this is one of the best games I've ever played and while it has a fair share of bugs and glitches, the story and character development is as brilliant as you could possibly get on a mobile game. And yes, I cried. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Why do you say that? You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. Every time? Every time. People will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. In the room! This other time... Number 7. Transistor. I always thought... It's hard to make new friends. But making enemies... I guess that's easy. We got four problems. From the makers of the brilliant Bastion, Transistor follows the story of Red, a nightclub singer who discovers a sword, the Transistor, that speaks to her. With a fantastical soundtrack and meticulous, adaptable combat, you navigate a science fiction world trying to figure out what has happened in the dystopian society of Cloudbank. Fun fact, the narrator from Bastion is the same character who voices the Transistor. Huh. Hey Red. We're not gonna get away with this, are we? Hey, sorry for interrupting the list really quick, but I just want to say that I'm doing a giveaway right now and to enter all you have to do is subscribe to my new channel and like the video which is on there. Uh, it's a filmmaking channel and I've always wanted to be a filmmaker 
So I decided to just go ahead and do it while simultaneously running this channel and it's a brand new channel so all you have to do is subscribe and like. There should be an eye in the top right of your screen right now. All you have to do is click on that and then click on the channel link and then that's it. I'll probably be picking four winners for this giveaway. I'm a relatively small channel so bear with me, I don't have that much money. And the winners can pick gift cards of their choice, iTunes and Google Play. But also keep in mind that the denomination of the gift card will probably be $10 or more so yeah just enter that and i'll remind you at the end of the video so you can watch the rest number six star wars knights of the old republic a 13 year old game hailed as one of the best games of all time knights of the old republic takes place roughly 4,000 years before the events of the movies and places you a jedi against the forces of the sith with wide character customization branching story paths conversation trees varied combat and multiple endings it was far ahead of its time and clearly is a classic title. Greeting. Hello to you, prospective purchaser. I am referred to as HK-47, a fully functional SizeTech Corporation droid skilled in both combat and protocol functions. Query. Would you be so kind as to purchase this model from Yukalaka? It would serve my purposes to be removed from his ownership. Number 5. Papers, please. An indie game developed by Lucas Pope, Papers, Please centers on the emotionally detrimental work life of an immigration officer in the fictional country of Aristotska. Sometimes you must detain civilians simply because of their nationality, reject desperate people, and feel the guilt of accidentally allowing a terrorist into the country. An incredible emotionally charged game, Papers, Please is often cited in the argument of games being art. There was in fact an interesting controversy surrounding it, involving Apple censoring the nudity in the game when it was ported to iOS, considering it quote unquote pornographic. However, later on Apple reversed this decision and released a full uncensored game on the App Store, claiming the rejection was a misunderstanding. Glory to Aristotska! Oh god! Good morning, Inspector! I just have a few questions for you. Okay. I'm scared. Have you seen anything like this? No! Uh, no! DETAINED! Number 4. Hearthstone. A popular eSport with more than 50 million players, Hearthstone is a trading card game based on multiplayer strategy and turns. With a variety of classes and cards in the hundreds, there is a plethora of playability. With close attention to detail and beautifully vibrant colors and animation, Hearthstone is a fun, rewarding, free-to-play experience. War is deception. A game played best from the shadows. Only strength and raw power can assure total dominance. But of course, you could forget all that. And just have fun! Number 3. Faster Than Light. In Faster Than Light, you control the crew of a spacecraft escaping rebel forces chasing you across the galaxy. The objective is to reach an ally eight sectors away and destroy the rebel's flagship. If that sounds hard, it's because it is. Difficult what? No! <laughs> this game is a, a... It's easy, okay? I, I dare you to download this and play it. With touch controls better than the actual platform was developed for, the iPad is the way to go if you want to play faster than light. Number 2. XCOM Enemy Within With Enemy Unknown disappearing off the App Store, 2K blessed us with the acclaimed sequel full of detailed graphics, grueling tactical turn-based combat and the sociopathic joy of killing aliens. What? Don't tell me I'm the one who's dreamt of doing it. Yes, you are. Ugh, forget it. Aliens are invading and you must, well, kill them. See, you have a whole troop of people and if they die, you're dead forever. How's that for raising the stakes? Hello, Commander. The war continues at great cost. We now believe another force is at work against us. If not dealt with swiftly, it could destroy us. What we are about to tell you even now, enemy agents could be. Before we unveil the number one port, 
Let's take a look at the honorable mentions. The dead. The dead ain't gotta worry about this mess. Our world. She's done. But there's a way to put it back together. So better get ready, cause mother only knows what's out there floating on them rocks. You bring them back, and together, we're gonna build something grand. This must be kept under wraps. If you try to go public with this, we will deny any knowledge. Number one, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. <laughs> Rockstar Games seems to enjoy celebrating their massive labor of love IPs by remastering them and re-releasing them on iOS and Android 10 years after the original releases. With this, we've been able to revisit classic titles like Grand Theft Auto Chinatown Wars, Grand Theft Auto Vice City, Grand Theft Auto 3, and most recently, Grand Theft Auto Liberty City Stories. In the iconic San Andreas though, <laughs> well there's not much I can tell you that you don't already know. You play as CJ, a man who left San Andreas and the gang he was a part of behind, but has returned because of the death of his mother. Hey CJ, what's up? Now that he's back though, everything has plummeted into the ground. Iggy Azalea exists, Tupac is dead and Donald Trump is running for president. Ah, uh, Swiss, that's uh, uh, that's not part of the story. Oh, oh it isn't? Oh, well, that's embarrassing. Uh, as Rockstar usually does with the sports, it went to all out improving the graphics with console quality lighting, character models, and an enriched color palette. Look, wait, are you sure this game doesn't have satire about Donald Trump? I swear that it- No, just review the game, Swiss. Just... The only possible identifiable drawback to this port could be its controls, which are adjustable however, and the game includes MFI controller support. To sum it all up, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas is a must buy for iOS gaming enthusiasts and can even satisfy casual players. With a price of $6.99 with no in-app purchases or ads or anything, it's a great deal. Can I take your order please? Carl, what do you want? You gotta eat to keep your strength up, man. Hey, I'll take a number nine, fat boy. Give me a number nine, just like his. Uh, let me get a number six with extra dip. I'll have two number nines, a number nine large, a number six with extra dip, a number seven, two number 45s, one with cheese, and a large soap. Oh, and while on the topic of 10-year anniversaries, Rockstar! If you're watching this video, I know you guys are going to release Bully on iOS this year. So, yeah, I'm calling it. I know, it's funny. I'm the girl in the dirty pictures, haha. Ha. So that concludes my list. Did you agree with it? Let me know what your favorite ports are in the comments. I read and reply to all of them. As I said earlier in the video, I'm holding a giveaway in which I'll be giving away multiple gift cards of your choice, either iTunes or Google Play. And to enter, all you have to do is subscribe to my new filmmaking channel, There'll be an eye in the top right of the screen right now. You can just click that and subscribe like that. And like the video on there. It's a brand new film. I took so much work, multiple months of editing to achieve that. And uh, then you can leave a comment on that video related to the video, of course. Don't say that you're entering the giveaway. Or you can just leave a comment on here and then I'll automatically enter you into the giveaway. I'll probably be giving away four cards, so the chances of you winning is actually really high. And yeah, I'll be announcing the winners on an upcoming Q&A video here on Swiss Productions. 
when Swiss.mp4, the filmmaking channel, reaches 150 subscribers. So go subscribe! <laughs> Thanks for your support everyone. It's already really crazy how we're reaching 2,000 subscribers in my last top 10 video we reached, you know, 1,000. So, as always, 